Hey guys, if you are racing on a Samsung G9 and you're finding it's not quite enough, you want to add another display to it, I'm here to tell you that you can. And I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, first off, there's a couple things you're going to need. Uh, number one, you need to make sure that your main display, your primary, is set to the display in front of you and you have your G9 or your other super ultra wide set offset to the middle and right of your wheel and then you have your other display set off to the left once you have those set up you want to make sure that your refresh rates are the same between the two uh, on these i have them set at 240 hertz um, there's 5120 pixels width on the g9 and 2560 on the g7 that equals 7,680 pixels for horizontal width and 1440 for the vertical. So that's what we're going to be setting up in our windowed borderless gaming tools so that we can run these screens for sim racing without using NVIDIA surround. Now, before I continue on with this, there is another method to set this up, which might be easier for some that does use NVIDIA surround. And that is by using the picture by picture function of the G9. And that would require two display port cables from your video card into the G9 to act as two separate displays. And then your G7 on the left as your third display. So your NVIDIA card sees those as three separate inputs and can proportionately display three separate images across. Now, the benefit to that is automatic setup. You never have to worry about it. Uh, the drawback to that is you're limited to 120 hertz and no HDR. And I bought these screens specifically because they have great HDR when you have them set up right. But if this method is too difficult for some or you don't want to deal with it or don't care about HDR or don't care about getting above 120 frames per second. Perhaps your video card can't support something higher than that. Um, it does work and it works just fine. If you want to do that and you don't know how uh, you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments. All right, moving on. This method will work for iRacing, Assetto Corsa, uh, ACC, I, uh, R Factor 2, Automobilista 2, Project Cars, uh, all of the main sims that I've tried it works with, uh, the Rally Games, Dirt Rally 2.0, uh, WRC 9.10, um, and uh, Richard Burns Rally. So with that, some games require you to edit a configuration INI file and others allow you to set the game in windowed borderless mode or windowed mode and automatically span when you set the resolution. So we're going to set that resolution I shared before 7,680 pixels by 1,440 pixels and uh, we'll get to it. All right, the next step in getting this up and running is you can download one of two different software programs to assist with getting this working. They both work. They both work well. Um, one I like a little bit more than the other because it's more automated. The other one you have to run every time you load a game. But I'm going to start with the one you have to run to load a game every time so you can see how the mechanics of this works. All right, so the first one is simple runtime window editor and i'll put some links in the description on where to download these two programs and the other one is windowed borderless gaming so the first one uh simple runtime window editor we download that uh, from the link run it and it's going to open up a window that looks like this and when you start up one of your sim games uh, no, let's see i'll start up uh Assetto Corsa, so we can see how this is uh, going to open up on the system. But first, we need to go to Settings in Assetto Corsa, go to Video, and you want to change your resolution to triple screen, and then down into uh, the resolution I shared before, 7680 by 1440, with your refresh rate. Once you have those set up, 
uh, go ahead and load a game, a practice, uh, any session that you want. And what it's going to do is it's going to open offset to where it shows some of the game on some of the screen and some of it is truncated. And the way to fix this is with the window editor. So uh, making sure that you've opened your game in windowed mode or windowed borderless mode. Uh, once you have the simple runtime window editor open, click select running application. And for Assetto Corsa, it's going to come up. You'll see it in the description here, Assetto Corsa ACS.exe. Double click on that. And it will show you the current position across your span width of your three screens. So on here, the key to getting this to work right is moving your image that's offset to the far left of your left G7. And to do that, we need to offset the width, the x-axis by negative 2560, which is the width of one screen. Then we want to set the total width, 7680, and the height, 1440. Once that's all set, you click Set, and you will see the screen move over. And now we're set across the whole span. So for this method using the simple runtime window editor, you must open this program, load the game, change the resolution and set it. But what you can do to make this easier is to save the profile so that you don't need to manually type in those resolutions every time. Um, if you want to do bezel correction, uh, it's a little bit more tricky. You can change the resolution up here by uh, the number of pixels that uh, equals your bezel, but because you don't have a right bezel, it becomes offset slightly. So the way that I've mitigated that is by setting one display slightly in front of the other, setting my angles in game at 37 degrees, and it tends to work out perfectly at a distance of roughly 23 to 23 and a half inches, uh, maybe 24 in that range. Uh, and again, setting that distance from your eyes to the screen is important. So if your eyes are 23 inches to the screen, make sure it's 23 inches to all three screen sides. Now it's important to share that if you don't set the in-game resolution to your total span, the image might come up, but it might stretch across all the entire width because it's thinking it's a smaller resolution and if you have a stretched image it's not going to look good so make sure you find in game where you set this custom resolution in a set of corso it's easy easy because you can set it in content manager in some other games like uh let's see uh, wrc you need to go into documents and under my games and documents there's a few dirt rally uh, we'll look at wrc 10 as an example which has user settings not cfg here we open this in notepad and you can see that there is a custom resolution that i've set here 7680 by 1440 in windowed mode this again is important to make sure that you span into all three screens uh, properly. Um, every game has some setting where this needs to be set. Some are in my documents under my games. Some you need to go into Steam, into the content of the Steam folder, into that game's content folder, find the graphics options file, and make sure you're setting it to 
windowed or windowed borderless and the entire width of your three screens. So whether you're using uh, a 1080p HD uh, screen setup and another 27 inch, just make sure that your resolution is set properly. Uh, the next version I'm going to show you on, this is the way that I'm using it now because uh, it's just, like I said, a little bit more automated. And that is this tool, Windowed Borderless Gaming by West Tech Solutions. Again, I'll put a link in the description on where to download this, but uh, you can download it. It's free. Uh, run it, install it, and it's going to put in a little program that it starts up uh, on the bottom of your screen. Let me start it up here. Windowed Borderless. All right, it's going to give us a little message right here. And we'll go into the settings. Once you have it loaded, uh, you can go to global settings or open config file. The global settings are going to set a config file for you. But uh, open up global settings, it'll open up another pop-up window. And in here I've already got it set, but again, you want to set it to 7680 by 1440. And you want to make sure that the x-axis, again, is negative 2560, which will span the entire left screen and bring that large image over all the way to the left border. Uh, once that's set, click Save and Close. Uh, open up your SIM. And you want to hit F3 to add new window. And I've found that Windows 11 sometimes doesn't like to work well with that. So you may need to hit the Windows key. Go down to the bottom tab. Right click on the windowed border tool and then click add window manually from here. I've already got it set there. So once you do that, it will automatically span the screens. Now, um, if for some reason it doesn't set up or it doesn't span for you, you may need to go into game settings. And again, it's gonna open up a similar window. It's gonna give you the same game specific settings. Uh, just click apply and it will shift the image over uh, again for you. And I have this set to run at startup. So once you add uh, any one of your Sims that you play into Windowed Waterless Gaming, it will automatically detect it and set it up for you. So it's, it's completely automated and it's, uh, it's really convenient. And um, once that's set, yeah, go and set in your in-game setup tools, for instance, a set of Corsa. You can set up your triple screen setup. I have it 37 degrees and the right distance for me now that I have this set up at is 550 millimeters, which is uh, 23 inches. And we have our screen width is 597 millimeters. That is the distance for half of your G9 and one G7. And once you have those set up properly, uh, you can set your in-game dashboard view height depending on where you have your G9 set up in relation to your wheel and seat height. Uh, and all of that will be uh, customized to you, but um, that's, uh, that's largely all that you must do. Now the last comment I want to make on setting the custom resolution is for some reason Assetto Corsa specifically does not like the 
7680 by 1440 resolution because I don't see the apps come onto the right side of the screen when I move the mouse all the way to the right. So for that, I'm setting this to 7682, two extra pixels uh, for whatever reason that's, uh, that's allowing me to get that, that extra reach off to the right with the mouse. So there may be some instances where you need to play with those values to get things perfectly set up. So far, this is the only one I've seen have, a, have an issue. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, down below, I'll do my best to answer any setup questions. Uh, hopefully I've covered all of the basics for anyone that wants to try and set this up. Uh, I personally am very happy with it. I love not having a bezel in the windshield. I like being able to see through both windows. I get about uh, half of the right window, almost all of the left window, uh, and again all of the windshield. Um, and. Uh, yeah, it feels great. So uh, good luck and uh, let me know if you guys get this running. I'm interested to see if uh, if anyone else likes it. So, enjoy.